This is the ultimate guide to go from noob to god in Pixel Car Racer. This guide would include every single thing that you need to know in order to be able to destroy every single opponent that you will race. If you enjoyed today's video or find it useful to you in any way, shape or form, please consider hitting that thumbs up and subscribing as it really do means the world and it helps me know that you guys want to see more of this kind of video. And without any further ado, let's make you a god. The first thing that you're going to want to do before doing any races is go ahead and buy the Mitsubishi Evo 6 from the dealership. It's $12,000, very cheap, you can get it straight away. It's all wheel drive and it makes launching a lot easier and yeah. So once you've got this, you want to go into your garage, go to the mechanical and then settings or your gearing tuning and then copy this exact gearing that I have. It just makes the car a lot easier to drive. Now for some optimization, if you want your game to run a lot smoother, turn off high graphics and you definitely want your shifting to be the other way around. So the upshift on your left side, if you're on mobile, it just makes it a lot easier to shift. Right, so you got your car, what do you do? I recommend heading into free run and then amateur mode so you can do all the shifting and stuff like that. But I'm going to teach you how to launch. So as you can hear, we're against a RSX Integra. And he does a burnout here, but I can't just because I'm all wheel drive. But when it says get ready, you can see that I shift down to neutral. And then when the green light comes on, I then shift into first. This is the best way to launch a car since it just gets a lot faster than starting in first gear. Uh, and then accelerate run from there. At the start of the game, you are going to be slow as hell. Like, do not worry, you will get a lot faster after this video. But as you can see, we've got 12 seconds there, which my god is horrendous. But um, yeah, just try and get a feel for the car, learn how to shift and stuff like that if you're not used to it. And then we're going to go into the part shop here. Once you've made a few, uh, well, a few thousand, you're going to want to buy this VX T42 Turbo for $10,000. Go back into your garage and equip your new turbo by going into the mechanical or the upgrades and then after this you will be ready to start some tournaments. So to get into tournaments, go into your race, then go to drag, tournament, duh, and then you will only be able to use the light cup as for now. Uh, it takes 10,000 uh, bet to enter, but you get 50,000 back, so you'll be making 40,000. There's three races that you're going to want to do. The quarterfinals, semifinals, and then the finals, and then you'll get the 50,000 after you beat the finals. So, you'll notice that the get ready is a lot quicker than the free run. You have time to warm up your tires and free run whereas you don't get as much time in tournament. The premise is exactly the same though, um, except there's not much time at the start. So as you can see there with the turbo, we've got 11 seconds, 0.434, something like that. Um, and then, yeah, so once you beat all of the uh, the races, it will go into this like, you win screen, woohoo, well done, ra -da 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 -da, uh, and you'll get your $50,000. So with the mass amounts of money that you now have, you want to go to the parts store, go to the ECU, which is in the top left um, of the, well, the parts store. And you're going to want to buy this blue VX race two-step ECU. And then obviously just go ahead and equip it to your car. Oh, and if you have any crates as well, feel free to open them and sell stuff that you don't want. However, if you get performance parts, go ahead and equip them. Makes the game easier. That's what they're there for. So with your new ECU installed, you basically just want to go ahead and grind the tournaments. There's not really much you can do to earn money, but when you have enough, you want to go buy this purple honeycomb intake, the Advent Dragster tires, and the VX Type M black intercooler. Once again, go open up any crates that you have. I've got a pretty cool spoiler that I just, you know, might as well slap it on. But once you've done all of that stuff, you want to go in, obviously and install the new parts that you've got. Now, once you have earned enough money, you're gonna to wanna to buy the VX open intake. It's like one of the best intakes in the game. And you're gonna to wanna to save up for this Ready T1E Turbo, which is $150,000. Pretty penny, but you know, you'll make it in no time. So with all your new stuff restored, go and grind the tournaments. Yeah, there's not really much else you can do for money really. It's just tournaments and tournaments and tournaments there's a lot of tournaments we find ourselves once again in the part shop and you want to buy this uh this well 150 nos shop for seventy thousand dollars i need nos i need nos go obviously just you know the principle man now 
go and equip it, ra da 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 da. So now we are in F class and you'll see that I can't do the light cut because the maximum class is D class and we're F so we're semi pro kings. So go ahead and actually remove the NOS and then you'll be able to do it one more time. And then once you win this, you'll get your obviously 50,000 and then you'll be able to have enough for the semi pro kings with your NOS installed. So how do you actually use NOS in a race? Well, I'm gonna show you. So do you see the lights, uh, the like three, two, one, go. You wanna press your NOS bowl as the first or second light uh, shows. So then your NOS will kick in, well, as you launch or just after or just before, yeah, something like that. So this will obviously launch a lot faster, being able to get up to speed faster and it's just being faster, it's NOS. Anyways, after you've done a few runs with, well, your NOS and mastering how to use it and knowing when to and all that sort of stuff, you wanna go out and buy these VX Supreme Pistons. The VX Kawaii Intercooler. And then equip them and just go do some more tournaments. You start to get the pattern yet? So now it's time for our first big boy purchase. Once you've managed to save up $450,000, you're gonna to wanna to go and buy a new car, which is the GTR R35 Nismo. Now, do not be confused with the regular R35. Uh, you can tell that it is the Nismo uh, by the red trim along the, like, the side skirts, the bumper, the front bumper, the mirrors, and yeah, it's the 450,000 one. You'll know what one it is. After you've bought the Nismo, you want to go ahead and sell the Evo 6 if you want to. I'm not forcing you. If you don't want it, you don't have to sell it, okay? Well, yeah. So, don't worry if you do sell it. All the parts that were on the car will not be sold as well. They'll just go back into your inventory. And then you just want to go and equip all those parts to the Nismo. Pretty simple. So, you want to head back into the tournaments and test out your new car. Or if you want to go free run and practice first, that's completely fine. And you'll notice that this car is a lot quicker than the Evo. And I mean, a lot quicker. Also, you'll notice for the keen eye viewers that I didn't equip the ECU. This was a mistake on my half. I thought that because with the ECU, you go into R1 class. And I thought that is the, like, the minimum requirement for the Pro League. But it's not. So make sure you equip the ECU. So this is where parts started getting a fair bit more expensive. You want to go buy this short pipe hood exit exhaust for another $450,000. Once you've done this as well, you're going to want to go and copy this exact tuning I have. Uh, it's the exact same one we had on the Evo as well. It's, it's just a good, it's good tuning. You're also going to want to buy the VX bags, slap them on your car, and you're going to want to after go into your gearing, no, sorry, not gearing, your settings or the tuning, and set your ride height to 4.5 inches. This is the lowest it can go without having uh, your car scrape against the floor. And at this point, you now are qualified for the Pro League. Congratulations, you're doing quite well. So this is actually where the game starts getting a bit more difficult. Your opponent's cars will actually scale to your car from, well, the experience that I've had. Um, so this is where you're gonna wanna actually pay proper attention. Um, you can see that now we are really, really fast compared to the start of the game where we're bloody overtaken by Gary the Snail. Um, anyway. <laughs> Once you've beaten the, uh, the Pro League tournament, you'll be rewarded with your first $1 million. Well done. Millionaire. So, after this, you're going to want to buy the best ECU for $1.1 million. And you're going to want to buy the VX Concept X Pistons. And also, you're going to want to save up for the Demon Shot NOS. I did buy it, but I forgot to record it because I'm an absolute dummy. You're also going to want to save up for the PXR Black Intercooler. And this is where it gets a bit confusing. So if you're on iOS, the best turbo that you can get is the 24 karat gold turbo. But if you're on Androids or anything like that, the best one you can get is the diamond, which is like a fair bit better than the gold. I'm not really sure why this is, but just get whatever one you can get. So once you have all these parts installed and you've saved it up for all the max upgrades you can get, congratulations, you are now classified as a god. Well, not really, but you're, you, you, you're good at the game. All right, so at this point, you can actually go ahead and build any car you want since you have your money-making car being the Nismo, and you just go experiment. Make some cool cars. Yeah. 
like this Supra that I made in the last video which you should definitely go and look. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Or if you didn't enjoy it, just like and subscribe anyway, all right? Kindness costs nothing. Also, make sure to leave a comment down below on what other videos we want me to make. In two days, the new Forza Motorsport comes out, which I'm super excited for, and I'm definitely making some more videos on that. So, without that, well, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, this is the end of the video. Thank you for everyone so much for watching, <laughs> and I'll catch you in the next one. Ta da! Hang on, why are you still here? It's the end of the video. Go on, go watch more videos. Well, you know, watch my videos.